Joining me now, automotive analyst Lauren Fix. You are the car coach, my friend. <laughs> yes. So, okay, I'm have a serious question. Mm -hmm. Okay, you talk about how you pick a car. Right. You say don't pick the small cars, and I say why not? The Honda, the Honda Fit was always one of the perfect cars for young kids. Why not? Well, it's a great little small car, but yes. when you're thinking about a new driver and their inexperience and the fact that they follow too close and they don't know all the rules of the road, and, and there's a lot of uncomfortable, you know, situations they haven't experienced that we have as drivers from, for a little bit more than a few years. Uh, you want to make sure that they're in a slightly larger car, and obviously you can replace cars all day long, but you can't replace your children. Well, you know, the, the, I thought the smart thing you said is no SUVs because mm -hmm. they're weird to drive, yeah. aren't they? It's just sort of hard to, to figure out how they're going to react to your steering. Right. Uh, it can be uncomfortable. It's big. You don't know how, you know, <laughs> yeah. are you hitting that car behind you? You don't know. <laughs> well, that's one of the things that I always tell people. You know, they think about a large SUV. They can bring a lot of friends and a lot of gear, but the problem is they're a little top heavy, yeah. especially if they're shorter it's wheelbase. Right, it's a truck, and you can make an, an aggressive maneuver and find yourself in over your head. There's a rollovers, hence we have rollover, you know, ratings now. So these are things where I say to people, forget the SUVs, obviously, forget the convertibles, and forget the Darn sports it. cars. I mean, right. I've heard of people getting you Ferraris. You are no fun, Miss Lauren. I, you know, my kids have pretty aggressive cars, but they've been racing cars for a long years. And You're a special family. And that's not normal. It's, you want to make sure that your kid gets in something safe. So you say good performance, not high performance. Exactly. Uh, buying them a Corvette may be the coolest thing on the campus or at school, but the fact is it's not a smart choice for a new driver. All right, you have cars you actually like. You're going to yes. recommend some cars here. I think this is yes. very interesting. Give us yes. the names and the price tag. Okay. Makes, well, models, price tag. Okay, if you're looking at like a Ford Fusion or you're looking at a Ford Taurus, you're talking about cars that are ranging in that twenty-five, you know, $25,000 range. You could be looking at a, uh, for example, a Chevy Cruze or a Malibu or even an Impala. Great car choices, very safe, American made cars you can count on. A Honda Civic or even, you know, you're looking at possibly even a Kia Optima. There's some great cars to choose from. These are nice sizes so yes. that if you do get hit, you can you're more away. likely to be safe, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Airbags, they have all kinds of collision built, protection built in, all these passive safety features that you don't realize till you run into a problem and you really need them to work for you. All right, what do you tell your kids about maintenance? Uh, one of the number one things is they must, here's the rules or you don't get the keys in my house. You have to know how to check your tire pressure. You have to know how to change a flat tire. You have to know what's in an emergency kit and how to use everything and basic maintenance. You have to be car care aware. If you don't understand what's wrong with your car, you hear something, feel something, smell something, and you don't take it to a mechanic, I can't tell you how many emails I get from people saying, you know what? I can't believe my kid burned the oil right down to nothing and in a very expensive car, and then a new engine's gonna cost you a lot of money. I don't think I can do a single thing on that, except maybe take the tire pressure. Then we will show you how to do that sometimes. That's probably, that is a good idea. Yeah. I did wanna ask you about one other trend out mm -hmm. there, and, and stories in the paper today about how boomers are buying all the cars. Right. It's not young people, and there's a huge demand. Mm -hmm. What do you make of that? Well, I think that these are times when people are thinking they've had their cars for a while, like you've said, but also they're starting to make money, they've started to pay off some of their college bills and you're looking at people where like my kids are in college so I can go buy the car I want so that's exactly what people are doing they're starting to buy the cars that they want or they need to fit their family's lifestyle well Lauren thanks for coming in it's always great to see thank you. you thank you great to see you too